Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Please understand I'm not fully 100% yet, so my voice is still a bit croaky. Okay, but today I want to go there with what's happening at the moment with a person by the name of Diddy, if you know who Diddy is. Okay, <clears throat> what is happening is that this is what I'm hearing psychically, and it's probably what you're picking up on too, because you're following me, so we're all on the same wavelength. I firmly believe that we are now at a point, us normal people, not the celebrities, not the actors, not the sports people, but us normal people, we want the truth to come out. We're at the point now where we're virtually craving for people to go to jail. We are craving for the truth to start coming out with regards to the chemtrails, the vaccination reactions. We want answers to EMF. We want answers to the 5G rollout. We want answers, answers, answers. Because we feel that we deserve to know the truth. Yeah? So I want to talk about this today because it's something obviously that's bugging all of us. And at the end of the day, bugging us is not the right way to deal with this. Okay, now I've been looking at Diddy with his um, charges. <laughs> They're suppressing all his charges, by the way. It's hard to get any information about who, where, when and why. Okay, <laughs> it's all basic stuff. So here we go again with the Epstein stuff, yeah? They are going to suppress this. As much as we want the client list, we want plain logs, we want anyone who's associated to him to go down with him yeah but at the end of the day we have to remember that this is a huge industry and the way that it has survived for so long is because we the normal people have supported it okay they need our money and that is the true fact of it imagine tomorrow if no one went to the football Imagine if the week after, no one went to the football, no one watched another football game, then all those football stars, do you think that they would be on million dollar contracts? Eh, no. Imagine if nobody ever bought a Justin Bieber record ever again. Would he still be popular? Eh, no. Because we have the hugest capacity here to bring people down by not watching or supporting them. We don't realise how strong our voices are because we are so conditioned now to shut up and not talk about it. Ain't that the truth? So I've just been researching this song that supposedly Justin Bieber has released about going to a certain guy's party because he needed the Ferrari and what happened at that party where he sold his soul do you think this is true no i've checked it it well let's go there i googled justin bieber diddy lyrics <laughs> okay and there's no lyrics that come up now is this due because i'm way down this rabbit hole is this due to the forces that be are restricting access to this information where they don't want us to know the truth because they need our money, right? Or is it simply not real? So I'm going to ask her live right now on the camera. Hello, are you here? She's always here, by the way. Now, okay, she's actually sitting there. When I feel her, I do get impressions from her and she's got she's doing this don't talk about it that's what she's telling me don't talk about it okay if I want to stay safe if you want to stay safe and the rest of us normal people want to stay safe don't talk about it that's what she's telling me wow she's not going to say yes or no whether Justin Bieber's song is real because the more we listen to it the more we research it and the more that we try and find out the truth, the more they're tracking us, the more they know who we are. That's one reason, guys, why I personally do not go to rallies 
I don't go to any protests. I don't sign up as a advocate. <laughs> okay? Because I don't want to be earmarked, stereotyped, or put on a list. Think about it. How many times in my videos do I tell people I don't want the black vans outside my door? Okay? So this is where we've got to start being smart against this. Stop paying your attention to them. Because the more energy, especially financial energy, you know, currency, money, the more we invest in these people, the more they're going to get away with what they're doing. Okay? You know, there's certain actors and actresses, I will not watch their movies because I sort of know what they do in their private time. Okay? There's certain singers that I will not listen to because I know what they do in their private time. Allegedly. Okay? So we all have this option of who and what we listen to and listen, um, read about or invest our energy into. Okay? So here's a thought. Stop trying to work out what they're doing and start paying attention to what you're doing to get through all this mess okay you know i've seen here on some footage the other day that 300 ceos have resigned since diddy got arrested is it true well i've researched about five of them and they're still actively on their websites so it may not be updated yet or if it is true. But at the end of the day, I don't know who these people are. And if they're resigning, guess what? That's a sign that they're guilty of something. Anything. So they are now having the, oh heck, I better cover my butt. Yeah. So I don't ever want to be in that position where I've got to start covering my butt with what I've done because I'm so transparent and honest. But these people, if they are resigning, all these CEOs from the music industry and all these other places, okay, without naming names, if this is true, guess what? They're the ones who have to go through their life review. They're the ones who have to answer to what they've done. You and me, sweetheart, gorgeous person watching me today, you don't need to be the instigator of that karma. All we've got to say is, I'm not supporting you anymore. It is that easy. Okay? So when you go out in your daily grind, and you're doing your work, doing your leisure time, trying to sleep, whatever it is that you do in your day, who do you invest your time in? That's up to you. But my advice is, Invest your time in people who matter to you. And I'm pretty sure Justin Bieber, Diddy, Epstein and all the rest of them, I don't care what they do. I don't want to know what they did. Okay? It's horrible. You know, I can imagine what the parents and the victims and everybody else feels. But at the end of the day, we do sign up for everything we go through. And that allows me to have that perspective where I can say karma does come and bite big if people mess with it. So I don't mess with karma and I hope that you don't mess with karma. So stop putting your time and effort into these people and let karma do their work. Love you all. Talk soon. Stay safe out there. Stay in love and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.